Hi everyone, this is Megan again from Welcome to the Zoo.ca and today I am going to show you how to um, take an Animoto video that you've created with Animoto.com and um, remove the logo at the end. Now you can upgrade your account um, and and uh, to have the logo automatically removed but um, but you know I like to do things the hard way <laughs> and maybe the cheaper way. Um, so now uh, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So what you need to do first is make uh, your video. Uh, it can be an intro for a YouTube channel or um, you know just family pictures or whatever you have um, at animoto.com and I'm going to include a link uh, below this video or in this blog post um, where you can actually get a free month of um, uh, animoto.com and that should be enough if you want to just make uh, a, an, intro, an intro to your YouTube channel or YouTube videos um, or if you just want to make you know one or two family videos or whatever you'd like to do feel free to click through on that uh, that link so uh, but once you've made your video in animoto.com you're going to uh, uh, take it over to Windows Movie Maker so what you'll need to do is just open up Windows Movie Maker and click here to browse for videos and photos So here we go, I'm loading uh, the um, video that I made with Animoto.com and it looks like it's ready to go. So when I press the play button, remember from the last video, this is the introduction that we made really quickly. It probably took two or three minutes and there you go, there's the logo at the end. So that's what we want to get rid of and uh, be able to use it. So you can see as um, the video was playing, this black bar was going through the video. And there we go, I can back it up and uh, find the spot that I want. And what I usually do with the Animoto logos is back it up to the place where that, um, that triangle starts to open up. So there you go, you can see the exact frame um, that that logo actually starts. So um, once I've got that black bar to where I want it, all I need to do is click over here on edit video under video tools and I'm going to click split. Now it's just split that logo off into a second clip. So all I have to do now is right click and hit remove. And there we go. That's my video. Here's the end. And there you go. The, the logo is gone. And I can now use this in whatever format I'd like um, to either, you know, use it as an introduction for my YouTube video or, or create a, an introduction for my YouTube channel or um, whatever you'd like to do with it. Uh, it's great for um, birthday videos, wedding videos, baby shower videos, that sort of thing. I use it a lot um, for the church that, we, uh, that I work at. So um, there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. Uh, and uh, hopefully in the upcoming um, weeks I'll be able to do some more videos on different things that you can do with Windows Movie Maker. It's pretty easy once you get um, to um, work your way around it and familiarize yourself with it. So it's not that difficult. Uh, give it a try. And hey, if you want to link to, um, to the video that you've uh, created with Animoto.com and edited with Windows Movie Maker, uh, feel free to do that in the comments section. I'll see you soon.